Set up an online class. Chapter 1. Create a class online. Go on YouTube. Start a free channel on YouTube.com to teach anything. If you get lots of subscribers you can get rich from ad revenue. If you're a teacher or professor, you can set up a channel for your students. You can go live or put up videos. Ideas for virtual teaching from teachthought.com slash technology slash remote hyphen teaching hyphen tips hyphen for hyphen student hyphen engagement. Start with students. Consider their lives. Their day. Their well-being. I wrote some about this recently. You can also argue that this isn't your job and it's certainly true that considering the well-being of every student your responsibility is a fast-track way to see some of the warning signs of teacher burnout. You may also know that the majority of your students are fine and the ones who may not be are almost impossible to help and that makes it hard sometimes. But when the opportunity presents itself, check in with your students really check in with them. If you must assess something, assess their well-being. Track that data. Address those needs. Be the teacher you would have needed during a pandemic when you were a child. The idea here is to not get distracted that you're at home and so are they and that everything is different. Start instead with the student and their reality and needs and the new and urgent opportunities in front of them. Simplify. Simplify what you teach and how you teach it and how students will show what they've learned. Prioritizing skills and concepts from your curriculum is more necessary now than ever. Work backward from the context of remote teaching. Synchronous. Live teaching online to a group of children is very different than doing the same in person and neither are easy. When you plan backward from the context and characteristics of remote teaching and learning where distractions are uncontrollable, bandwidth matters and students are not with their friends but rather their family the lesson or activity has a better chance to work. Think small, bite-sized learning activities with clear objectives and intentional transitions all while planning for and necessitating student engagement and autonomy. Actually, that's not as different from good teaching in person as it seems. Meet for briefer periods more frequently. This may not be possible. If you can only meet once a week and that's it, then once a week it is. But whenever possible, chunk learning three times a week for 20 minutes or twice for 30 versus once for an hour. How effective this is depends on what you teach and the age of the students you're teaching it to. Be the lead learner as much as you are the teacher. Put another way, model caring about learning and the role it plays in well-being and growth. Show them what it means to be curious and active in this new learning environment. Use lighting and sound to your advantage. Quality audio, strong lighting, zoom backgrounds, catchy music for transitions between activities whatever you need to do to get and keep their attention, use the technology tools at your disposal to make that happen. Use games and music. I almost titled this one Take Breaks but depending on your schedule, a break may be less useful than simply transitioning or team building, etc. That said, keep resources like Kahoot, Colmath.com or even videos of others playing games to engage students in distance learning during portions of the lesson or activity where it may be waning. Think halfway points. The internet is full of games and music. Use them intentionally. Here are some video games to teach with and classic hip-hop music you can teach with to get started. Use different tools for different things usually. While many video streaming platforms and learning management systems have a robust set of tools to consider, start with what you know that also works from students and then work from there. Private messaging with Zoom and document collaboration with Google Drive while grading with an app while students use digital portfolios on a separate platform that's your reality for remote teaching in 2021. That said, there's something to be said for simplicity. If it makes your life easier and students still have access to the same learning opportunities, using one tool for functions it may not necessarily be designed for may serve everyone better in the end. Thinking differently about classroom management. This needs more explanation, I know. But you can't manage students the same way online as you can in person. Behavior is different and addressing that behavior what you reinforce and what you reward and what you ignore will also be different. Further, 
you have to be extra careful about how you address those behaviors because it's very literally in front of the entire classroom in many cases with many. Try to ensure the privacy of each student. Another easier said than done remote teaching tip. But privacy laws alone make remote learning a maze of policies, laws, and potential pitfalls. Who sees what what you see in their homes and they see in one another's it's a lot to sort. Design for participation. This isn't always doable but when possible, design lessons or activities within lessons that don't just encourage engagement and student participation but that won't work without engagement and participation. Test everything, plan ahead and assume everything will break. Do your best to assume someone's connection, maybe yours, is going to go out at some point. Assume the link you share will be broken and that the private message you send will be seen by everyone and so on. That's okay. If you have a plan ahead of time, you can mitigate the loss of time and learning. Empower students, emphasize autonomy and engagement. The easiest strategies here are student voice and choice in what and how they learn and demonstrate learning. This applies to lessons you've created for students to do either together or apart. Asynchronous, self-directed, genius learning that is, learning students do on their own because they want to is another way to empower students as a remote teaching tip. For school students, I've been using Marco Polo learning lately and paired with Epic Books, makes a powerful combination for students to be empowered in their own learning. Think before, during, and after learning. And in pursuit of empowering students, encourage students to own their learning and self-direct it. A strategy here is BDA, before, during, and after. This will help you think carefully about what you want students to do and be able to do before online sessions, during online sessions and after online sessions. Use the right platform for the right teaching. This one's simple but don't use Google Drive to share video and don't use Zoom to carry out ongoing conversations with students and don't use YouTube to host all student portfolios, etc. Use the right tool for the right purpose. Know the features and functions of that platform inside and out. And when you do find a tool that actually makes your life easier while, more crucially, improving student learning, learn how to use it effectively. You don't necessarily have to use every nook and cranny of Skype or Flipgrid to get the most out of it. The point is to know the platform and then selectively use the bits and pieces that work for you and your student. Personalized learning objectives or approaches. Personalized learning is always a good idea but in remote teaching, it may be even more critical than a standard classroom, if for no other reason than it's easier to lose students or for students to hide during synchronous distance learning. A basic strategy here is to create tiered learning targets. For example, Tier 1, students will be able to roughly define a metaphor. Tier 2, students will be able to define and identify two obvious metaphors in an excerpt. Tier 3, students will define and identify a less obvious metaphor. Tier 4, students will define, identify, and analyze the effect of a obvious metaphor. Connect individually through messaging or individual rooms. This helps build relationships with students while also improving the credibility of online learning helping them to see that they're not simply fulfilling their academic duty but rather connecting with people who care around content designed to, hopefully, make their life better. Be selective in what you do together. Generally speaking, the definition of synchronous learning is learning the same thing at the same time. Broadly speaking, Limit lecturing during remote teaching, this is a common synchronous teaching strategy, and use alternatives to lecture instead. Create breakout rooms ahead of time. Among other benefits, creating breakout rooms before class even begins forces you to have reasons for those breakout rooms that is, provides a kind of framework for grouping, station teaching, collaboration, small group instruction and more. Leverage the beginning and end of each remote teaching session. Consider icebreakers at the beginning or entry slips and fun team building or exit slips at the end. Use quick, informal, checks for understanding. Here are some easy ways to check for understanding. The idea is to consistently perform simple, disarming checks for understanding ideally around the lesson objectives or related ideas. Be intentional with transitions. 
transitions between activities are crucial to maintain momentum and student engagement. They are also necessary to reduce wasted time. Use a timer. See above. You might be surprised. And don't make this complicated use an app on your phone to time individual activities or the running time on Zoom, Skype, Google Hangouts, etc. Consider digital grouping strategies. I'll write more about this soon. To get you started, consider the grouping strategies you've used successfully in your classroom and reimagine them and experiment with them to see how they translate to remote teaching and learning. Teach for engagement, not coverage. Consider the aforementioned checks for understanding, cold calling, accountable talk, quick team building games, digital polls, back channel discussions, and more. Technology in the classroom website slash set up an online course websites. Manhattan.sourceforge.net, Manhattan Virtual Classroom. Moodle.org, Open Course Management System. UC.edu slash architect slash documents slash design slash learn env.pdf comma design guidance for learning environments. Techlearning.com. KN.pacbell.com slash wired slash vidconf comma video conferencing for learning. Nicene.org, Internet Classroom Assistant, free tools. 21STCENTURYSKILLS.org. AccessExcellence.org slash LC slash TE comma Access Excellence, Technology in Education. ALA.org slash ALA slash MGRPS slash DIVS slash PLA slash PLA Publications slash Plate CNOTS slash Internet Filtering dot CFM comma Filtering, Plain Facts about Internet Filtering. Cast.org slash teaching every student slash toolkits slash tk underscore resources dot cfm question mark tk underscore id equal sign for one comma digital content for the classroom. cate 2uoregonedu Center for Advanced Technology in Education. Computers for Learning dot gov, donated computers. Microsoft.com slash education slash tutorials dot msbx comma integrating technology lesson plans. etc.usf.edu slash software comma integrating technology in the classroom. intel.com slash education slash tools slash index dot htm comma intel education classroom resources. Internet for classroom.com slash k12 links.htm, internet for CLAS rooms. etc.usf.edu slash software slash description slash multimedia.html, multimedia software, standards and lesson plans. Microsoft.com slash about slash corporate citizenship slash citizenship slash giving slash program slash up slash digital literacy slash default dot msbx comma digital literacy curriculum. CTE dot umdange dot edu slash technology underscore corner slash tech underscore online underscore inst underscore design dot cfm comma web based learning and instructional design. CTE.umdange.edu slash technology underscore corner slash tech underscore primers underscore index dot CFM comma computer and technology primers. Curriculum, T. Kariki.org slash xwiki slash bin slash view slash main comma Kariki, global education learning community. Deacon.edu.au slash ITL slash teach hyphen learn slash cases slash index dot htm comma contemporary online teaching cases. DESIGN dash TECHNOLOGY dot info design and technology on the web. DMC.UMN.edu slash technology slash SRS dot SHTML comma student response systems. ED.gov National Educational ed.gov slash about slash offices slash list slash os slash technology comma office of educational technology ed.gov slash about slash pub slash intro slash innovations dot html comma innovations in education series edu cause dot edu transforming education through it edutopia.org slash digital hyphen discussion hyphen take hyphen your hyphen class hyphen to hyphen internet comma how to set up a blog in your classroom.
en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash information underscore technology comma information technology etc.edu.cn slash eet slash eet comma encyclopedia of educational technology fcit.usf.edu slash matrix comma technology integration matrix greece.k12.ny.us slash task comma technology advancing student knowledge intel.com slash education slash index.htm comma intel education initiative Intimi.uni.edu slash model slash model text.html comma technology as facilitator of quality education model. Intimi.uni.edu slash model slash technology slash comps.html comma teacher technology competencies. ISTI.org, International Society for Technology in Education. ISTI.org slash am slash template dot cfm question mark section equal sign nets comma standards, national educational technology standards. ITA.org slash TAA slash publications slash TAA underscore publications dot html comma technology literacy standards. KMI.open.ac.uk slash technologies comma technologies, knowledge media institute. Microsoft.com slash education slash default dot msbx comma Microsoft education. Microsoft.com slash education slash default dot msbx comma using technology in the classroom. MOS.org slash nctl comma National Center for Technological Literacy. NCTP.com, National Center for Technology Planning nctp.com slash html slash plan underscore state dot cfm comma state technology plans netc.org slash cd-rom slash toolkit slash html slash toolkit dot htm comma technology planning toolkit nhean.org slash ict literacy slash index dot htm comma ict technology literacy toolkit nortellearnit.org slash resources comma learnit Best Practices for Integrating Technology NortelLearnit.org slash resources slash handouts comma rubric for evaluating tech ed NortelLearnit.org slash technology comma technology tutorials for today's technology PorticaL.org slash tools slash tech underscore planning underscore tools dot html number sign build comma technology planning toolkit charts Salt.org slash glossary dot asp comma applied technology glossary. Seertech.org slash seer hyphen tech slash literature dot html comma planning and integrating technology. Setda.org, State Educational Technology Directors Association. TEA.state.tx.us, Technology Applications. Teacherlink.org, Center for Technology and Teacher Education. TechLearning.com, Technology and Learning Technology Plan UCDenver.edu slash mwriter slash itc on dot html comma instructional technology connection UMUC.edu slash virtual teaching comma teaching with technology UNSTOC.UNESCO.org slash images slash 0014 slash 001492 slash 149278e.pdf comma media education wikieducator.org slash facilitating underscore online comma facilitating online put your course online for free merlet.org multimedia educational resources for learning and online teaching free and open resource designed primarily for faculty and students in higher education set up e-learning for your school or business it's not that hard to set up some kind of training program or class on a website you just need some software and a bit of knowledge on how to use it. You're either showing videotape of a lesson or showing something like a PowerPoint presentation with text study notes and instructions at the end, possibly followed by a test where they email the answers, somebody corrects them and sends them back. I found one book at the library under computer-assisted instruction and several under Internet in Education. These books might be between number 370 number 379 or in the business section at HF 5549.5 or number 658.31. Teleeducation.nb.ca slash first page dot cfm comma distance education resources. A manual for instructors to adapt and develop their courses for delivery using the web. 
TrainingITI.com, Interactive Training Inventory Training providers can post information about the courses they offer and those wanting to learn or update their skills can search for training opportunities. IBM.com slash services slash learning IBM.com slash mindspan Macy.com Learnativity.com Internettime.com slash e.htm Download.moodle.org Moodle is a software package to create online or internet-based classes. Amicombooks.org Adelnet.org slash scorem slash scorem.cfm Self-directed learning E-learning business websites slash e-learning industry websites Computer.org slash portal slash web slash e-learning E-learningindustry.com Eliaarnangitech.blogspot.com Rapidintake.com, e-learning software TurnkeyLMS.com, convert your existing PowerPoint presentations to online courses Eliaarnangitech.blogspot.com 8c.edu, American Distance Education Consortium, an international consortium of educators devoted to distance learning eLearningGuild.com a membership community for online learning professionals, featuring resources, networking opportunities, and publications. USDLaw.org, United States Distance Learning Association. WAOE.org, World Association for Online Education, a nonprofit organization developed to support and evaluate online education based on the voluntary efforts of educators, worldwide. eLearningForum.com an association that explores the latest e-learning trends, technologies, and solutions. OnlineDegree.net, online degree technology. Blackboard.com, e-learning software and services. RAPID-LEARNING.blogspot.com, rapid e-learning news, this blog centers on workplace learning. Chronicle.com, chronicle of higher education. Weekly news source for college and university faculty members and administrators. CertMag.com, certification magazine. A monthly magazine covering the certification market. eLearn.org, magazine published by not-for-profit educational association serving. Workers who teach and learn in computing-related fields. eLearning.b2bmediaco.com a monthly magazine covering e-learning and especially corporate training. eSchoolNews.com ed-market.com TheJournal.com AltisLearning.com, Altis Learning Systems eLearningForum.com, eLearningForum ctl.uga.edu slash ctl blog comma Center for Teaching and Learning a weblog of thoughts from the Center for Teaching and Learning at the University of Georgia. elkg.jiscemerge.org.uk slash ual slash weblog comma e-learning and distance learning blog. elearnqueen.blogspot.com, e-learning queen, the e-learning queen explores all manner of online and distributed training and education, from instructional design to the construction and implementation of entire e-learning solutions for individuals from K-12 to military to corporate and non-profit organizations. elkg.jiscemerge.org.uk slash ual slash weblog comma emerge, for anyone interested in producing and using audio and video as lifelong learning tools. jisc.ac.uk, JASIC an organization that manages research and development programs in the use of ICT in teaching, learning and research to build knowledge, develop services, infrastructure, or applications, and provide guidance and leadership. ChristyTucker.wordpress.com, Experiencing e-learning, mainly geared toward instructors, this blog offers advice and tools for any individual who is interested in lifelong learning. EliaPsoftware.com slash free training GNAcademy.org, Globewide Network Academy, the Academy's goals to provide a competitive marketplace online for distance learning courses. JaneKnight.typepad.com, Jane's e-learning pick of the day. BlueU.com, Blue, for technology and professionals. Leading provider of e-learning solutions. 
DigitalDistance.com, Digital Distance, the design and delivery of e-learning for corporate and professional competency building, growth and certification. 4SYSTEM.com CiscoLearning.org InspireDLearning.com ElmsPro.com ONLINE-TRAINING-SOFTWARE.com cs.utexas.edu slash users slash pclark slash software dot html comma machine learning programs epathlearning.com flextraining.com innovations inelearning.gmu.edu knowledge-power.com software and consultancy services which allow for the creation of tailored e-learning ed-x.com SLOAN-C.org slash news slash index.asp comma annual awards for excellence in online education. LaraGH.com slash blog.htm comma Larac eLearning News. eLearning.b2bmediaco.com slash enews.php. Online Learning News.net. People.uis.edu slash rschr1 slash online learning slash blogger.html epathlearning.com distance-educator.com geared for teachers useful info for students laragh.com producers of e-learning software for people in the e-learning business tbcon.com website for people who develop learning websites distance education training council 1601 18th st northwest Washington, D.C. 20009-202-234-5100 Fax, 202-332-1386 Detsi at Detsi.org Detsi.org Booklet Directory of Accredited Institutions lists many home study institutio.